Hey guys, what's up? It's Alex or Nuznos here, and today's video I'm going to be talking about one of the best things in RuneScape, and that is the feeling of chasing and receiving a really expensive drop. We all love that feeling of when you get a huge drop in RuneScape worth a ton of money. It's one of the best feelings ever. But most of these drops are locked behind doing some of RuneScape's hardest bosses like Telos, Zuck, Karapek, Virago, and many, many more. But this video is going to be different. This video is for the people that want to aim for big drops in RuneScape, but aren't necessarily elite PVMers or enjoy doing high level bosses. I thought this would be a good idea because there are actually so, so many amazing drops in RuneScape that can make you tons of money that you don't actually need to go and be an elite PVMer to chase after some of these. So if you enjoy this concept, make sure to subscribe for increased RNG. This is scientifically proven, by the way, and like the video for more and and let's talk about these big drops. So starting us off, a drop you can aim for in RuneScape 3 is one that recently increased a good amount in price based on a lot of new methods for doing like Raksha, new melee methods, and that is the Abyssal Scourge. Scourge? Scourge? I'm not sure. I'm bad at pronouncing things. But these are received from killing Abyssal Lords, which they do require a high Slayer level of 115, but sometimes people sleep on just how good Slayer mobs are still for money and how many big drops you can get. Most people think you can only get big drops from bosses, but in RuneScape 3, you can actually make a ton of money just farming Slayer creatures, and Abyssal Lords are really no exception. These drop this item at a 1 in 2,000 drop rate while on task, so you will want to do these while you're on a Slayer task, but they also drop a ton of other great items and decent drops as well. Now this is currently selling for around 350 to 400 mil GP, which means you can potentially get a drop as big as some bosses like Telos at these Slayer creatures. So this is a pretty fun one to aim for if you're somebody that likes Slayer but isn't too into big bosses and wants to make some decent money. Now if you're somebody that wants to potentially get a big drop without doing much combat at all, you can look into clue scrolls, specifically hard clue scrolls. Now hard clues can be obtained in a variety of different ways, pretty commonly like killing hellhounds or pickpocketing in Prif, and you can get some huge drops from hard clues, and they are actually extremely fast to do and obtain compared to things like elite clues. Now the most expensive drop from hard clues is the shadow die, currently goes for over 1.2 billion GP each which puts it as more expensive than a lot of boss drops like Greater Ricochet, Eldritch Crossbow pieces, even more expensive than some pieces of the Fractured Staff of Armadil. So if you're looking for that hype, you're looking for that chase of a big drop, but you don't like doing high level PVM, this is a great thing to do. I was actually lucky enough to receive two Shadow Dies in my time doing hard clues in the past, and when I received them, they were anywhere from 500 to 800 mil, and they only have been increasing in price since. So if you're somebody who wants to potentially get this big drop, this is one of the most fun drops to aim for in my opinion. If hard clues aren't your thing either, elite clues offer even more valuable drops with dies such as the blood die and third age die that go for billions and billions of GP. They do take a little longer and they are a bit harder to get, but clues can even be obtained passively now if you have the scripture of Bic. You can use it to collect a ton of clues over time. And this is something I like to stress in videos, do not sleep on clue scrolling and aiming for these items, as clue scrollers are generally some of the richest players in the game, way richer than most PVMers. Another Slayer creature that you can actually hunt for a huge drop are these Stalker creatures. Now these require level 99 Slayer for the Soul Gazers, and these creatures drop the Hex Hunter Bow, which now can actually be upgraded with the new Zamrock Slivers to make it even more powerful, and this bow goes for as of now around 700 million GP. It's also needed for the Ultimate Slayer Log 2. This bow is extremely, extremely rare from the normal Soul Gazers but drops at a much higher rate from the elite soul gazers that spawn if you're using seeker charms and also you have a chance to spawn a super rare soul gazer that guarantees you this drop while killing these so it's a pretty big grind to actually get the bow as a drop but if you manage to get one you will make a ton of money off this and these are super easy to kill and pretty decent xp their normal drop 
drops aren't too great so you're basically you know just aiming to get that big hex hunter bow i actually plan on trying to grind out this bow eventually because i'm going to need it to get that ultimate slayer title so if that's something that interests you these are a great choice so another item you can aim for that's a bit lesser it goes for around 2 to 250 mil so it's not worth billions of gp but you can get this from revenants and that is the stadius warhammer this is one of my favorite items personally to chase because you kill revenants to get this item and the reason why i like going after it so much is because you don't really need that much gear or you know startup cash to do this you basically can go to revenants with one item and have a chance of getting this so this is something you can do easily if you're rebuilding not to mention that revenants drop a ton of other big items like zorials which sells for a decent amount if you get the non-corrupted version so you're always going to make a decent amount of money here if you couple this with wilderness slayer you can make even more but the stadius warhammer is something i thought i would mention just because it's one of my personal favorite items you guys know i love revenants you have the chance to get the revenant pets and a whole ton of other stuff so i really have a sweet spot for revenants in my heart but i thought i'd mention it because it isn't a boss drop and it's something that many people can go in easily try to farm out even with low level gear now something else i wanted to mention that you can potentially chase if you will to make money are the hero items which are obtained in a variety of different ways now these items are extremely rare and some of them are received kind of indirectly like the hazelmere signet ring which is obtained through hitting the rare drop table and the orlando smith's hat which is received as a master clue reward there is one that you can actually i feel like far more by itself which is the guild master tony's matic which is obtained rarely through doing tetra compasses which you can get the tetra compasses by doing archaeology and completing collections and then you complete them when archaeology was first released i did a ton of tetra compasses because i found it just really fun to do you could afk to actually get the tetra compass and then while completing archaeology collections you would you know get xp but you would also get you know the pieces of the tetra compass but then when you actually go and do them you get your reward extremely fast it's only one step so it's not like doing an elite clue or something that can take you a lot of time the majority of your time farming these is going to be spent actually afk to get the tetra compasses rather than actually doing them so that's a nice bonus guild Master Tony's Matic goes for billions of GP and was around 4 billion GP last time I checked. So while it is very rare, if you do get lucky enough to get it, it'll be a massive drop for you. Not to mention completing these Tetra Compasses, you get other things like clue scrolls, archaeology materials, you're getting archaeology XP while you're doing it, you're getting binding contracts, and potentially dragon Matics as well. So a lot of nice items and decent XP, and I really like that it's AFK. So the next item I want to talk about is a bit of a meme but it actually is worth a lot of money so that is the abomination cape if you don't know there's a forgotten boss called the abomination that i've covered in a video before and the boss is kind of annoying to kill and not many people kill it at all but it does very rarely in a one in eleven thousand chance drop something called the abomination cape which is well it's a cape based on the abomination it's extremely rare and that kind of dictates its value but as of now most recently it sold for one 1.7 billion GP. Now this boss isn't very hard to kill at all. It's killed after completing the hero's welcome quest. You can go back and kill it. It doesn't drop insane loot. It does drop some decent loot. Again, I made a full video on this boss before because I thought it was really interesting. I'll link that at the end if you're interested in learning more about it. But the boss isn't super hard to kill, so it's not some elite PVM boss, but it does drop one of the most expensive boss drops in game technically, although it is like I said, extremely rare. It still does go for like 1.7 bill. So it's kind of crazy to think about that you can kill a boss that isn't very hard and potentially get a drop worth that much. So just a few honorable mentions here at the end. I wanted to mention the Wyvern crossbow that's obtained by killing Wyverns. It's obtained more commonly on Slayer Tusk with a 1 in 2000 drop rate. And this doesn't go for billions of GP, but it does go for around 80 to 100 mil. And also Wyverns actually make you decent money even if you don't get this big drop slayer creatures can actually make a ton of money which is why i wanted to include a bunch of them in this video because like i said often people think that they have to do high level bosses or elite pvm to get big drops worth a lot of money but in reality runescape has been around for a long long time and there's many many big drops you can get that are from things
things not related to elite bosses. And that's kind of the reason I wanted to make this video is to kind of show you that there are so many different ways you can get big drops and make money. And honestly, it's one of my favorite things to do is to switch it up. I honestly don't like just bossing constantly. There are times where I like grinding out a certain boss, but I like to try different things. It's why I like making videos in general and making these videos is because it allows me to go in the game and try things that I wouldn't normally try or do things, kill things that I wouldn't normally kill. And there's so much stuff that RuneScape has to offer and you can really make a lot of money doing these things too. You don't have to sacrifice GP to go and try different things. Switching it up is a way to keep RuneScape feeling fresh. So hopefully this video gives you guys a little bit of an idea of things that you can do yourself to make more money and maybe keep the game fresh. Maybe you've just been doing a lot of Xamarok or a lot of a certain boss for a while and you feel like you want to switch it up. You're kind of getting burnt out. This is kind of a way to do that. Maybe you decide to go for the Ultimate Slayer title or you try your hand at some clues and see if you can get lucky. I absolutely love opening clue scrolls and if I had the patience, I would save up a ton of caskets and make a video on it. But honestly, I'm somebody that will get 20, 30 caskets and be like, okay, I have to open them up and see what's inside. But doing that is a really, really fun time and I absolutely love clue scrolls. So hopefully this video gave you guys some motivation. Let me know in the comments below if you plan on chasing any of these items or if you've obtained any of these items before. Actually, tell me what your biggest drop was that wasn't from a boss. Mine has to be the shadow die from a hard clue. Make sure to leave a like if you like this concept and I will see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching everyone.